Today we're going to look into Stormwatch number 3. Co-created and story by Brandon Choi and Jim Lee with pencils by Scott Clark. The Stormwatch 1 team stands ready as Cannon leads them towards whoever took out his team, Stormwatch 2. As the team speeds towards their mysterious attacker, Cannon begins to recount what happened. He describes how the mystery attacker just tore through the team. In the case of poor Ion, it was literally. Elsewhere, the mystery assailant has Winter and Fahrenheit prisoner, and he identifies himself as Regent. He tells Winter that he attacked them because he thought they were part of something he calls the Protectorate. He plans to conquer our world, and he's going to use their powers to cover up his entrance to Earth. So he intends to let the facility go nuclear in order to cover his tracks. It becomes a race against time as the weatherman lets Battalion know that he intends to neutralize the whole site if they don't take care of this threat. But even as the team tries to hasten their advance, they come upon a gruesome discovery. It appears their teammate Lancer met the same fate as Ion. Cannon lets out a blast in frustration, and Regent hears it from down below. And he wastes no time in answering the challenge. And now that Regent has finally gone, Winter enacts his plan to escape. The Stormwatch team finally comes face to face with Regent. The battle gets more and more desperate as everything they throw at Regent seems to have no effect. Meanwhile, D.Va finally tracks down Winter and Fahrenheit. And she works quickly to free them. Then Fahrenheit uses her abilities to get Winter back up to full power. The situation has not improved for Battalion and the others. And on top of that, Weatherman has decided now is the time to strike. But Weatherman is made to realize the strike may not be enough. So he calls upon Major LaSalle and lets her know they need to get the War Guard ready. But she lets him know that if they release the War Guard, there's no telling what could happen. Amid all the chaos that is currently happening, Battalion's brother Malcolm is still recovering in the medical wing. He gets introduced to his new training officer, Colonel Mark Slayton, a.k.a. Backlash. But before they can get too acquainted, the alarm goes off and Backlash has to head off into action. Battalion refuses to back down despite Regent's immense power. And just when Battalion thinks all is lost... D.Va and the others arrive to turn the tide of battle. Then a fully powered Winter arrives on the scene. And he proceeds to zap Regent of all his powers. But Regent was able to muster enough power to escape. And so, with the crisis passed, the Stormwatch team regroups and prepares to head back to headquarters. And there you have Stormwatch number 3. Another action pack issue to be sure, and it was really cool to see the first appearance of Backlash there. Because he definitely becomes one of my top Wildstorm characters. And I know there's really not much to the villain of Regent, but for some reason I just really enjoyed him. Even all his corniness and just clichédness. Maybe it's just the way Scott Clark drew him. And, just, and all that power, again, reminded me kind of a Dragon Ball Z character. So as far as what video to watch next, this is where it's going to start getting a little tricky because obviously you can move on to Stormwatch number 4 next, but I realized when I was preparing the Union number 1 review that Stormwatch shows up there because they're trying to chase after Regent. So you can take your pick of which way you want to go after this video. 
So if you like this video, be sure and hit like and please subscribe because I'll continue to hit the rest of the Stormwatch series as well as some of the other Wildstorm series and some of the new series that are coming out. So until then, we'll see you next time.